Now let's run through some calculations. The first calculation is to calculate M feed, the mass of water used to make the coffee. And to do that, it says M feed is going to equal mass of clever dripper, dry filter paper, ground coffee, and your water. So that's going to be 611.4 for me. Minus mass of clever dripper, dry filter paper, and ground coffee. Uh, and ground coffee. So for the first one, it's going to be minus 307.3. And, well, I don't have my calculator right with me, so let's stack them up. Three hundred four point one grams of water, and that's going to go in my twenty five gram M feed. And then I could do it for the next one as well. But I'm going to move on to the next calculation. Uh, M brew mass of so M brew which is the mass of the brewed coffee, is mass of coffee cup and brewed coffee, coffee cup and brewed coffee, 708.5, minus mass of clean dry coffee cup, clean dry coffee cup, 441.6. I get seven, Nine six 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 two. Uh, so the mass of my brew, which makes sense, is less than the mass of the water that I started with, because some of the water got stuck in the coffee on this coffee grounds in the clever dripper. So uh, this is going to be mass of brew two sixty six point nine, and then mass of spent. Coffee is going to be mass of Clever Dripper, coffee grounds, filter paper after brewing. Clever Dripper after brewing minus Clever Dripper, all right, mass uh, spent equals mass of Clever Dripper, coffee grounds uh, after brewing, so 340.0 for me. And I'm just going to stack them up right away. Minus Clever Dripper, dry filter paper, and ground coffee, 307.3. And this time, 7, so that's a 9, and that's a 3, 2, yeah, that's a 3, 32.7 grams. And let's turn the paper here so I can still keep it on the page. Next calculation is going to be calculate the mass of water lost to evaporation. And that's M evap. And M evap up. Oh, I do need some space. So let's just keep turning the paper around a little bit here. So M, uh, to do this calculation, we know that M feed equals M brew plus M spent plus M evap, and we've got all these numbers. We've got M feed is 304.1 grams. We've got M brew is 266.9 grams. Spent is 32.7 grams, and M evap. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here, uh, oh, minus 266.9. Two, so three, two, nine, uh, 13, seven, 37 point two, and then minus 32.7, I get 4.5 grams lost to evaporation. So I guess it's it's not zero. I mean, when you have very hot water, you're going to lose some to steam during the process. Um, this also, well, uh, let's say this, that this is evaporation. And when I think about it, this might be, and I took my clever dripper upstairs, there sometimes gets a gram or two caught 
in the Kleber dripper itself. So as a source of error, we might want to say that for M evap, this catches any other source of uh, places where the water could have gone. Um, well, no, but I think it, it is. It's evaporation. Yep, so 4.5 grams. And then mass of the grounds, so that we started with. Uh, let's do that one too. And for mass of grounds, it's going to be mass of Clever Dripper dry filter paper and uh, dry filter paper and ground coffee. Yep, 307.3. Minus mass of Clever Dripper. So I end up with 27.3 grams. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, oh, minus 1.6 grams for my dry filter paper. I end up with 25.7 grams. Which is close, and actually, it doesn't matter. So it's more important that you get the 300 grams, uh, you know, repeatably. So 304 in this case, because uh, we can put any any amount of grams we want. And you're going to do this now for all of your uh, different brews, and then we're going to be graphing the information.